So yesterday we got some interesting news, Universe, and I know this is going to be an interesting subject, but here at Comic Universe we would we'd also be talking about comics, hence in the name. So today, uh, this video, we're going to be talking about Tom King, the writer of Batman, um, leaving his uh, Batman run at the end of issue 85. Excuse me, I need something to drink. <laughs> this is a mighty thirst. <laughs> Anyway, so for those who are unaware, uh, Tom King initially was signed on to do 50 issues, and then he did 50 more after sales were doing so well for Batman, and he was going to do a total of a 100-issue one run. However, um, it was now announced that he will be leaving at Batman after number 85, and I don't know who's taking over. I don't think they have announced yet of who's taking over. My bet, personally, is going to be James Tinian. I am pretty sure that Tinian's, they're going to give Tinian the main Batman book. Um, which I'm real, uh, that's what I'm banking on. I'm banking on because Tinian's done a lot of other Batman books, so I'm pretty sure Tinian is going to take on the next 15 issues and probably be left on the Batman title uh, from there. Now, I like Tom King as a writer. I really do, and at Megacon, I did see him. I didn't get a, any footage or camera with him because there was a big line. Um, there was a pretty big line, so I could only get to, like, briefly see him, uh, for a few moments, because he is a very popular writer. But there's also, with that popularity, comes a level of infamy. As you guys are aware, Tom King has a very mixed bag for when it comes to people, uh, people's opinions on him at DC. You see, um, while people unanimously love his uh, Mr. Miracle run, with, go you know, with good goddamn reason, that book is a work of art, um, the and of course his Vision run, there are some people who really don't, and I don't mean don't, and I mean really don't like his uh, Batman run, and especially really have a hate on for what he's been doing in Heroes in Crisis. Now... Personally, I've really been digging his Batman run. It's been one of my favorite Batman runs for a while. Like, I've liked this more than Scott Snyder. But that's me personally. If you didn't like it, that's fine. But me personally, I really enjoyed uh, what he's been doing with Batman. Um, I loved War of Jokes and Riddles. I also really enjoyed... Um, I really loved, like, uh, a lot of the stories he did post, as well as... Um, the, the wedding, which I know a lot of people are pissed off about the wedding of Cat, Batman and Catwoman, but I kind of had a, a feeling that it was going to end like that. I really had a feeling that it was going to end like that and play out as it did. So I was kind of prepared, but at the same time, it still ripped my heart out. And that's a, that's what I really like, is that Tom King really brings a lot of human emotion to Batman. He's not, you know, he makes Batman like this... Um, Excuse, sorry for the background noise if the mic picks it up, but yeah, he really brings this very much humanity that Batman was missing. He makes Batman fallible. He makes Batman like, oh, I want this and I want that. He's not like some uber badass um, that can just beat everybody just by looking at them. He can just umairaya moi shinderu Joker into oblivion or some shit like that. Um, so that's what I liked about Tom King's run, but the big thing is we have to ask ourselves, was Tom King forced off the book um, early? Was he very much forced off? Because there were some straight up, like, if you go to Tom King's Twitter and fan page, there are some straight up people who want to kill him. There are some straight up people, which, by the way, good on you for, you know, you're such great Batman fans that you want to murder the guy who's writing the comic. Um, you know, just saying, you love, you know, they're imaginary characters. You can dissociate yourself, or, I don't know, here's a thought, not read the book. Just saying. And also, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Tom King's the worst writer ever. No one loves him. Really? Because when I tried to see him at Megacon all four days, uh, the line stretched out uh, half across the um, the comic booth, like the comic uh, line. It very much extended past all of that. So, I don't know where all this hate's from, but uh, I didn't see it at all. Now, I will admit that um, Heroes in Crisis, especially what he's been doing with Wally, -E, has really got me like on edge because I'm like, on one hand, I like the psychological deep dive. On the other hand, there are some things in there that I do have questions about. And yeah, there's still. I think um, issue nine hasn't come out yet. I think it's supposed to come out next week if I'm right. 
So we'll like, see how this uh, how he sticks the landing. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of li I'm kind of like it sucks because I have this notion that he was forced off the book early because of um, uh, I don't know maybe people were dropping the book because if you guys don't know Hulk the Immortal Hulk was actually outselling Batman. As a Hulk fan, I'm very much excited for that. And also, Alley Wing's Immortal Hulk is really goddamn good. Like, it's probably the best Marvel book on the shelves right now. That's no hyperbole or, you know, exaggeration. It's a really good book. Like, if you really just like, even if you're not a Hulk fan, go read that comic. And I don't mean it like, oh, I like it better than Tom King because Tom King sucks. No, I like it because I'm a Hulk fan and Al Ewing, Al Ewing is really good at writing the Hulk. So, yeah. So I don't know if that was the case is that, you know, DC just decided to cave to fan demands and, you know, had Tom King off the book. So that really sucks because now I feel like it's going to be a rushed project because... Um, issue 75 is going to be the big villains take over Gotham storyline, and yeah, I feel like I'm really afraid because now he's got a, uh, I think we're on issue 72 right now, so we've only got an X amount of issues for Tom King to wrap it up, and I'm really afraid he's going to have to rush the ending that he wanted, you know, because he had so much time to uh, play around with this storyline. He really wanted to play around with it. Now I do have, now for Tom King, fellow Tom King fans out there, he still has projects over at DC. Um, they haven't announced what they are, but he is do. What we do know is that he is doing a sequel to Mr. Miracle. We do know that he is doing a second 12-issue um, maxi series of Mr. Miracle. So I'm really excited for that. I'm really hoping he gets another shot at um, some other DC characters. I would really love to see what he could do with Superman. The times he's written Superman are really cool. So I really like to see him take his take on Superman. Maybe. Um, I'd really like to see his, like, um... But, of course, they're not gonna let him, because Bendis is just gonna be like, It's mine! It's all mine! Fuck you! So, maybe... I don't know. Give Tom King something else? Like, uh... Maybe the question? Maybe... Like, um... I'd really like to see what he could do with some of these other characters, because it's very clear he's not leaving DC anytime soon, and I'm really happy about that. Um... I'm really glad he's not leaving DC, and I'm really excited to see the future of his career. I mean, if it is true that he was forced to pack up and leave after issue 85 with uh, Batman because of fan retaliation, I was just like, well, it sucks, it really does, but that's kind of the nature of the beast when you sign those contracts, but at the same time, I'm like, fuck you, fanboys. Uh, you know, you didn't have to, you know, if you were such a fan of Batman, maybe not threaten the guy every day, because he's constantly blocking people who want to murder him. Like, I'm pretty sure that, um, that at his table, he, I heard someone over say, you know, he's constantly looking out for people trying, you know, he's, you know, we have to look constantly out for people who might try to do harm to him. Which I'm like, really? The CIA agent? But then again, you know, the dude's ex-CIA, I'm pretty sure he can take care of himself, so... Um, I really would have loved to have seen Tom King's kick somebody's ass. I really... Every time I passed by, I was like, Oh, please, pull a knife on him so he can break your arm. Oh, please, neckbeard, please do that. <laughs> uh, and I know I sound really jaded and angry. It's only because, well, I really fucking hate humanity. Because humanity is a piece of garbage. So... Yeah. Anywho... Um, not really much else I can say, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think of Tom King be leaving uh, Bat Batman after issue 85? Um, were you guys saddened by this? Were you guys uh, happy about it? Um, what other projects would you like to see Tom King do uh, post his Batman run? Just comment below, let us know. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.